Hello and thanks for joining us. I'm Lauren Vargas. First on five, thousands rallied at state capitals across the country today to show their support for Guns Across America, a nationwide rally for Second Amendment rights. This was the scene today in Austin, Texas, where more than 600 people turned out. Gun control fears have prompted some people to buy firearms and receive professional training on how to use them. News 5's Blake Brown joined a group this morning in Baldwin County. Still no sign of a man Baldwin County investigators believe was murdered in Fairhope. Deputies are looking for the remains of Donald Jefferson Howard, also known as DJ. They believe he was killed on Monday. Late last night, Baldwin Sheriff's investigators and Fairhope police searched an area near the Fairhope Pier for evidence in the case. A father and daughter are dead and a Texas man is behind bars charged with their DUI deaths. It happened just after 5 o'clock this morning on the I-110 bridge between D'Iberville and Biloxi. Funeral services were held today for a toddler who police say was murdered by his own father. Two-year-old Michael Harrison was laid to rest in Milton this afternoon. Last Thursday, police say Micah Harrison stabbed his son to death at an apartment complex in Indiana. Well, if your child attends Pearl Haskew Elementary School in Irvington, you'll want to hear this story. Welcome back. President Obama kicked off three days of inaugural events with a National Day of Service. People around the country gave back as Washington prepared for the president's swearing in. Susan McGinnis is on the National Mall with the latest. President Obama actually begins his second term tomorrow. He'll have a private swearing in at the White House. And Jonathan Owens joins us now with a look at our gorgeous weather. Pretty much perfect today. Yeah, we had bright skies. We had a few more clouds coming in this afternoon, kind of dim the sky a little mm -hmm. bit. Welcome back to sports. A huge celebration today on the campus of the University of Alabama. Thousands of fans turned out to help celebrate the Crimson Tide's three BCS championships in just four years. Well, Jonathan, it started out kind of cold, but it turned out to be a beautiful day. Yeah, it did. 